uko nyumbani. Na mimi nataka niseme asante kwa sababu umetembea, umekuja tumeomba pamoja. We ni mtu ya Mungu. Nilikuwa naambia watu kwa ile lugha ya Kifaransa ya kwamba kama serikali ya Kenya kwanza ikiongozwa na Rais William Ruto na wewe mafikiri mimi na wewe kwa sababu nilikuwa umeshikwa shikwa sana tungekuwa tuna share sale kule kamiti lakini Mungu ni nani na ndio maana tumefurahi na tunajua ni kwa nini una wewe unakuja kwa kanisa kuomba Mwenyezi Mungu na nafikiri tunataka tushukuru uchaguzi ulifanyika wa amani hawa wananchi wa wazingishu na Kenya mzima wakasema rais na serikali itakuwa ya Kenya kwanza so tunataka tukushukuru sisi kama bonde la ufa your excellence the deputy president we shall give you and the president unconditional support so that you deliver the bottom up agenda for the great people of this republic mambo ya mbolea kama wakulima viongozi hao watu wamekuwa kitusumbua sana kuhusu bei ya mbolea kuhusu bei ya mbegu lakini najua next planting season your excellency tutakuwa na mbolea kutosha tusalishe chakula ndio wale wa Kenya ambao wanaendelea kupata njaa sisi tukuwe na chakula ya kutosha waweze kukula na tuweze kupambana na janga la njaa so we appreciate what you are doing and the assignment that the president has given you tumesikia hapa north rift tuko na shida kidogo ya ukosefu wa usalama mimi nakubaliana na Faruki Bet ya kwamba tuchukue maombi pale lakini ni sawa tuwaombe lakini tunajua Mwenyezi Mungu atawasamea lakini sisi kama bunge we must make hard and painful decision to amend the tourism act to ensure the bandits who continue to kill our people mercilessly along the north rift in Kerio Valley and any other part of this republic they must be treated as terrorists and they must be handled because kama we ushaua mtu umeua baba wa nyumba umeua mama umeua watoto hiyo ni kuangamiza taifa that is a threat to national security na mimi mwenyewe nitaongoza ile amendment ya tourism act tuhakikishe wale wanao watu na cattle rustlers wamefunguliwa mashtaka kama wale tourists ambao wanaendelea kuangamiza sisi ya mwisho your excellency tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu eh, watu wengi sana wakati umekuwa naibu wa rais watu wengi sana hawajazoea Ajoyezaya we Mandrigiji ndio DP. Na tunawazoamea kwa sababu wengine wako na hangover kidogo. Lakini utawazoamea naona wengine za zingine wanakujibu kwa magazeti na social media. Nafikiri tu wanahitaji induction ya serikali ndio ajue vile serikali ina operate. Na wanasema heshima si utumwa. We must respect the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya because he is elected by Kenyans. And any state officer or agency that will try to undermine that should not be allowed anywhere in the Republic of Kenya because kuna order law and order katika taifa letu la Kenya si ni namna hiyo kwa faruki ni kwa bana ndi agere una sege nenyo jiji ye kwa ituku ke ba majabu je uya ingen je isongolin bana ndi so ola sege kidogo lakini ona ole bana ndi ka kaburuas e ola sege nyunye lakini kwa iko imen korotu ka olin Agonginge ni lengbororu ko ko kwa kwa ole rwete ta kusiro la gete so agete ole la gnyo linu linyo banande kwa kwa ine to magegere so gumeje gele gongoi faruke kwa kuitisha hii mkutano na kuleta sisi pamoja so wananchi wa Kenya tuendelee kuombea serikali tusimame pamoja rais William Ruto will ensure and i want to congratulate and wish well my brother uh, our senate uh, senate majority leader emeritus Kipchumba Murkomen ambaye amepewa kazi ya barabara we want to wish you well national assembly speaker i know you are the chair of uh, the vetting committee and appointments speedisha hiyo maneno eh, enda tu unajua papo wa roma we ni unajua wewe ndio papo wa roma na tunaheshimu wewe usichukue muda sana sema out of the similar opinion say hi petition hiyo maneno petition hiyo maneno because the solution the solution to carry your valley ni kuhakikisha huyu Murkomen ana mapewa kazi aweke mabarabara pale na maendeleo ndio ifunguke ndio hiyo mambo ya insecurity ishe so we wish you well our brother na sisi kama North Rift will give you the necessary support to ensure the issues of roads and infrastructure reaches to a certain level ago yenye Murkomen na muibaka komiji na gele jerop komasi nyigisi jerop asanteni
અને એ તો ચહેરા ગે ગવાલી છોકરા હાથી પીકી જી તક બસ અમે જો ગોગાન રેપ્લિક ઓફ કેન Honorable Gadi Kashagwa elected leaders national government officials county government officials wananchi wote wa watengishwa ambao wamejumuika hapa kwa elel bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe tena chamgei mimi nimefurahi sana kwanza your excellency karibu nyumbani hapa ni nyumbani kwako wewe saa hii ukiwa hapa wewe ndio acting president kwa sababu the president is out of the country na hapa ndio nyumbani ya mkubwa yako na wewe ukiwa hapa sisi tunafurahi sana we want to say thank you very much thank you for supporting the deputy president then who became the president and learning from his feet Now we occupy the shoes alikuwa nayo ya deputy president yeye amesonga amekuwa rais ya Kenya. We want to say asante sana. Nyinyi wote wa Kenya wote ambao wananisikia hapa. Hii elections imekuwa tofauti kwa sababu ndugu zetu aswa wale walikuwa wameshurutishwa sana wa kutoka Mount Kenya wakiongozwa na Rigadi Kashagwa Kimani Ichungwa majority leader ndugu yetu uh, ndindi nyoro ambaye atakuwa kitu kingine kubwa hapo mbele eh, kwa masiku machache na wengine wengi kutoka Mount Kenya mlionyesha wa Kenya kwamba siasa ya ukabila siasa ya kushurutishwa siasa ya mtu yetu haitakuwa tena siasa ya Kenya siasa ya Kenya itakuwa ni siasa ya sera mkachukua rais William Ruto akiwa naibu wa rais kuhiyo kama mkenya na kama nduku yenu na ndiposa mheshimiwa naibu wa rais uh, rigadi this election imekuwa ni election ambaye rais tangu multipartisim rais amepikiwa kura kwa wingi ya kura kwa sehemu zote za Kenya in a balanced manner everywhere in the country the president had more than almost 40 counties akiwa na 25% inamaanisha kupitia nyinyi na kupitia uchaguzi huu na wa Kenya tumepiga hatua kubwa sana kumaliza siasa ya mrengo ya ukabila na siasa ambayo ya kusema mtu yangu mtu yangu mtu yangu sasa hii siasa yenye tumekuja kwa sera ya bottom up ya kusaidia mwananchi wa kawaida we want to say thank you your excellency because from day one mumekuwa katika uongozi ambaye inaamini ya kwamba ile inasema lazima itendwe. Tumefurahi ile pay ya fertilizer imepunguzwa mpaka 3500. Tunaamini ya kwamba sisi ambao tu planting season itaanza mwaka kesho, it fertilizer hiyo italetwa mapema na ikifikapo eh, December January hapo wananchi wa sehemu hiyo wapate kwa bei nafuu na kuwe tayari kupanda mahindi yao. Tunaamini ya kwamba pia serikali itarudisha ile mfumo ya kununua mahindi sisi tutakuwa pale kusupport wewe na rais tuhakikishe watu wetu wamepata mahindi yao bei nafuu kwa wakati unaofaa ili wakuwe tayari kununua um, uh, ile uh, farm input in good time i want to say your excellency i am very very proud to have been a serving senator for 10 years campaigning with you and being able to see what you did to deliver a government that is in our hands we know tunajua kuna challenges mingi 
but we also know like reverend mayo bishop mayo alisema kwa hapa we know that god who brought us to fikie hapa aku tuleta hapa ndio sisi tuweze tukawachwa alituleta akijua kwamba atatupatia neema na nguvu kuhakikisha tumetumikia wa Kenya kupeleka Kenya kwa watu wale wengine i like saying kwa sababu uh, mimi mimi career nilikuwa nataka sana ni ya evangelist na one passage i like in the bible when the children of israel were told by god waliambiwa muende kanan kanan was not an empty place kanan haikuwa an easy place to go to kulikuwa na giants and nephilims lakini god still said you will go there and you will take over the land and you will be able to have a land that has honey and milk ata sisi we do not come to government your excellency deputy president because it is easy as you have always said we inherited debt we inherited the dilapidated economy we inherited a demoralized public service ambayo ukienda kila ofisi saa hizi hata wa Kenya ambao wanatarajia sisi wenye tumeteua kuwa mawaziri kuja ofisi wako na waziwazi tayari wanasema Murko Mena akifika hapa sijui nani akifika hapa tutafanyiwa nini because for five years they have lived under fear we want to tell public servants freedom has come we are the type of government yenye tukifika every Kenyan will be allowed to work in a free environment and to harness their potential to serve this country to make this country a greater place and that is the kind of government we support and your excellency we will run rally behind you and the president to ensure our public servants and our country is able to have the greatest potential where were your excellency you already chaired a meeting ya mambo ya kerio vale na nilikuwa pale na wewe umeweka sisi pamoja kutoka turkana westpokot baringo samburu mpaka isiolo mpaka elgeo marakwet na tayari umeweka mkakati ya kuhakikisha tunasuluhisha wakati waziri wenu atakapokuja ofisi eh, mheshimiwa Kiture Kindiki na sisi wote tutahakikisha kwamba tumerudi tena pale to make sure hata kabla hatujaenda kwa maombi mambo ya kupika watu risasi kwa imeisha tunaenda kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu imeisha we want to make sure that the Kerio Valley turns from valley of death to a valley of life and under your firm leadership i believe that this Kerio Valley will be the potential of the future mimi nashukuru rais na wewe kwa kunipatia nafasi na kuniteua nikae katika baraza la mawaziri nikiwa mo, eh, with waziri mteule mdogo kwa wote mimi nataka kusema hii ni heshima kubwa sana kwako kwa rais kwa kuniteua na kwamba akue tayari na wewe na rais mkue tena my mentors kwa mambo ya uongozi wa seric mambo ya executive kama vile mlikuwa kwa mambo ya legislature and i will be willing to learn and to learn also from other kenyans from a sweeper to the highest office to make sure that we become leaders who can listen and give people opportunities to serve your excellency uh, kwa heshima yako umeniambia nite, nitambulishe viongozi wa serikali yenye wako hapa county commissioner alikuwa regional commissioner alikuwa ametambuliwa najua kuna viongozi wengine nataka tu wasimame kuanzia PS Kipto PS Koimet wenye wako hapa uh, na uh, uh, ndugu yetu Kamar mwenye wako kwa auditor general's office na kuna pia viongozi wa uh, wengine wote ambao ni regional commissioner na timu yake tunasema asante sana na tunaomba kwamba mheshimiwa rais kuna wengine wengi hapo sana wako na kwa maombi mimi naombea hawa lakini sitaombea mbele ya raia wako na maombi mingi tutaleta tu ofisi kwa sababu wewe ndio mwenyewe mtaamua kwa ofisi kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki kwa sababu mheshimiwa naibu wa rais amenituma kwa function nyingine ndio nimepewa nafasi kuongea na hiyo function iko kwa kaunti yangu tunaenda na governor uh, Wesley Rotich ambaye ni governor mdogo kwa taifa mzima Nataka nipatie nafasi sasa kumuita Governor Wesley Rotich asalimie nyinyi. Mimi nawapenda sana watu ya Koileli. Ya, nawapenda sana. Na asanteni kwa kuchunga huyu Faruk. Huyu Faruk tumejua wewe sasa. Ukitaka uongee sana ikuwe ni function yako. Naona si tumeongea tu atusumbuliwe vile unatusumbuanga. Mimi nimesema mara mingi. Huyu Faruk ni mtu tofauti. Hata hao watu watu wa kuandika magazeti hawajui waandike anaitwa nani ni mtu 
ako na responsibility i works hard lakini you cannot go somewhere na useme hii ndio ofisi ya Faruk ofisi ya Faruk ni penye Faruk ako ya yeah? bora tu uone William Ruto president na uone Faruk hiyo ndio ofisi yake lakini kwa hiyo ofisi Faruk ananikumbusha kitu moja and i want to say this ndio wakenya wote wasikie huyu kibet Faruk ananikumbusha Martin Luther King Jr mwenye alisema ukipewa kuwa sweeper sweep mpaka mbinguni imbe iseme there lived a great sweeper huyu Faruk kazi yenye alipewa alianzia tu kupanga sisi ndio utuongee mzuri kwa mkutano na kukaa vizuri kwa ofisi anapanga mpaka kila mtu hata naibu wa rais wakati alikuwa anaanza ofisi yake juzi anasema na munitafutie Faruk yangu mwenye atakuwa hapa hata sisi wenye tukiwa ofisi yetu tunasema tunataka Faruk yetu mdogo Somebody who can organize the president, the deputy president and politicians mpaka wakue orderly. Wewe Faruk Mungu akubariki sana. Na bariki watoto yako na familia yako. Na ile kazi unafanya na makanisa. Let that be example to everybody. Even the Kenyans who don't have any office. Kwamba if you serve God the way Kibet Faruk amefanya, Mungu atakuinua ufike juu. Na sijui sasa juu gani utaendelea kuenda lakini Mungu aendelee kukubariki. Wacha sasa nikaribishe mheshimiwa Wesley Rotich awasalimie. Karibu governor.